What is going uh, going on YouTube world and YouTube tribe? Welcome back to a little bit man gaming trying out a new angle here um, bringing you Another wrestling review video um, But first things first y'all can hit that like subscribe share and hit that notification button also leave a comment down below of what you thought of Friday Night Smackdown um, Yeah for those who are not subscribed, become part of the tribe, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification button, because you're missing out on some great videos. I know you're not subscribed because YouTube tells me the algorithm, I mean, the analytics tells me that there's a big percentage of y'all who is still not subscribed to the channel. So subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 1,200 subscribers. And, um, yeah, let's, just, let's do the damn thing, you know. Hit the smash that subscribe button, do all that, because I got a surprise for y'all. I got a surprise for y'all. I didn't forget about y'all. Y'all, without y'all, wouldn't be at where I'm at right now. So you need to hit, you need to stick around. You need to hit that notification button because I got a surprise coming up for y'all. For those who are subscribed, continue doing what you're doing. You're already part of the tribe. You're already part of the family. So therefore, you don't have to worry about anything. So you you are already ahead of the curve. You would be no when you when I do this surprise, you would know what it is, and you automatically are you already and automatically qualify for this surprise. But just do I need y'all to continue to do one a couple things for me. Continue to watch, like, and share, share, share. With that being said, we're gonna get into it because this video, wow, this video is a is a doozy of a one because there was only four matches. Four matches in the whole other uh, uh, all of this. It was only four matches. So and it was a lot and so I'm gonna do a lot of talking because there were there was not it was four matches, literally four matches and a lot of promo. So they the first of many promo overkill promos was Cesaro and uh, he comes out basically to cut a promo about how probably about how he wanted to challenge Roman Reigns or what he had or what about Seth Rollins attack but he would never get the chance to because he would get interrupted like all the so literally open with Cesaro stand, and standing in the ring well it, it had a, a replay what happened last week and then saw him standing in the ring and then when he's standing in the ring he's standing he's standing in the ring his music playing he's smiling he's getting ready to say something then Seth Rollins comes out, and Seth Rollins comes out, basically ta um, taunting him about how is it wasn't for him at WrestleMania, um, uh, you know he wouldn't have, you know that he was the reason why he took off and, be, and went from here to here. He was the reason for that, you know. Seth Rollins said, "I elevated you from here to here, you know. That's how you beat me at Wrestle uh, at WrestleMania." But he told, then he would tell Cesaro, "On even on your worst day, even on my worst day and your uh, best day, you still couldn't beat me because this is not over." Like I said last week, this is not over until I say it's over. And and Cesaro was like, "Okay, but well, you know what?" How do you feel today? Is you having a good day? Because I'm having an excellent day. And if we both having these good days, then you need to come in this ring and I'm going to kick your ass and show you that I could beat you. So Seth Rollins, you know, he's, a, he's obliging a little bit. He's walking down to the ring like he's getting ready to fight. But then he steps back. He's about to say something. Then out comes Jay Uso. So, as you wondering, like, why haven't you got to, well, when did the, the first match of the night start? It's coming, but this promo was so long. This was the longest promo of the whole show. Um, so, Jay will come out, basically saying that you better listen to Seth Rollins, and that Seth Rollins um, uh, is right, that you ba you can't beat Seth Rollins, you can't beat the, Ro the Roman, uh, Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, the head of the table. And you definitely couldn't beat me. I was gonna show you that last week, but then, but you, I'm gonna show you today that you can't beat me. We disrespected you. You still don't get it. The tri our family disrespected you, and you're still out here about to run your mouth. So now I got to get you. And then he was about to get in the ring, but then Seth Rollins was like, "No, let's do it smart." So they go, they get ready to go surround the ring, and they get ready to go surround the ring. They get ready to jump in, and then out comes Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan comes out. So Daniel Bryan cuts his promo about 
why about that he understands why they angry. Jay is out. He understands that Jay is just out here because Roman told him. And Jay is just like, well, yeah, you know, I am out here because Roman told me to come out here. And then um, he run down. He said Seth Rollins is only out here because he's embarrassed that Cesaro beat him at WrestleMania. But then he know he knows that whenever Jay is out here, that means that Roman is not too far behind. So he knows Roman's gonna come out here. So he knows he's like, oh, y'all gonna come out here, y'all gonna jump us. Well, that we welcome it because as long as I'm here, I got infinite respect for him. And I'm not gonna let y'all jump and jump him. So y'all can just jump us together. So they get ready to fight both Seth Rollins, Jay, and, and out comes Roman Reigns. So this is why this promo was like the longest promo, right? Um. So Roman comes out. He cuts his promo. He tell he basically says like, "Yo, you guys are losers. You are um, y'all top tier losers. You know." He said, "Damn Brian, you're you are WrestleMania losers. Cesar, you are a casino loser with bad luck. You know, you win sometimes, but you mostly lose because you just got bad luck." And that you're 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 a ne you're beneath me. You don't you don't you know you don't deserve this. You don't deserve that. But Jay is Jay and Seth, you know, Jay is right. He is going to get got. And, and then Seth Rollins and them proceed to brawl with Cesaro and them, which finally leads into the first match of the night, which was Daniel Bryan versus Daniel Bryan and Cesaro versus Jay and Seth Rollins, which was a good match in itself up until the point that Seth Rollins just walks away. He just walks away from the match. And we all know how that went, how that goes. They, the match is good. It was entertaining until Seth Rollins walks away, and then boom, they uh, Cesaro and they basically just hit their finishers, hit the running knee and pins Jay, um, and, and then they cut another promo in the ring, talking uh, Romans to come back out, and uh, you know Cesaro then he swung Jay twice, and uh, he, you know but they wouldn't come out, so they demand that he comes out and. Uh, later on tonight and give them their answer for if he's going to face Cesaro in the championship match. Um, this will lead to two. Uh, this will lead to two. So promos backstage. We'll have two of them. One with Dan Bryan and uh, uh, Adam Pierce, basically talking about that he needs to do better. Cause he's try he said, you know, what are you going to do? Is you going to give him the match? He said, you know, it's not easy. I can't just snap my fingers. You know, he said. He said, but I'm going to try my best to get Cesaro that match. And he said, he said, do better than try. And then I think he get interrupted. Then the next one, he get interrupted by Apollo Crews, who's was like, what is this? I hear that I got to defend my Intercontinental Championship against Biggie. You know, he said, I wasn't, I wasn't playing last week when I said that Biggie doesn't deserve another championship rematch. And he was like, you know what? You will be defending the championship tonight, but it won't be against Big E. It'll be against Kevin Owens. And Kevin Owens, will, uh, uh, whether it's you or uh, Kevin Owens, Big E will get his uh, opportunity at the cha Intercontinental Championship. So, after saying all that, we will get to the second match of the night, which is Tamina versus Nia Jax, along with a returning Reginald. Um, that match was actually decent. It was a good song. This, it, it was only the only thing I had against it was that it, it was another repeat match, and I think we only had two repeat matches tonight. But it was a repeat match um, because we already see Tamina versus Nia. We always see Tamina and Nia face each other in multiple matches. So, but the fact that they're giving Tamina uh, spotlight made the match all all that much worthwhile. So even though it, I found it as a negative because it was a repeat, I'm actually happy that they give Tamina the spotlight. But the match ended because I rather have Tamina uh, beat um, uh, uh, Nia straight up without distractions. But the, the, the distraction that was was Sonya and uh, Reginald trying to distract Natalia and you know Tamina, but it would backfire and get Nia distracted and you know, Tamina will roll up for the pin. Um, moving on, because we got a lot to cover, so we got to move on. Um, we get a backstage promo with Big E and, uh, Kevin Owens. They'll go back, they, they well, it's basically started with Kevin Owens talking about how he's going to win and, and take the Intercontinental Championship. And then Big E would get involved, t um, calling, 
Kevin Owens a habitual uh, line jumper and that he uh, that it should be him tonight. But Kevin Owens are like you know he's he's mocking him saying that it should be you tonight, but it's gonna be me tonight. And I will go out there and beat Apollo Crews and take the Intercontinental Championship. And then they sarcastically laugh at each other. Moving on, we gotta keep moving on because it's more. It's so much promo to get to. Uh, I'm trying to see what blah 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 blah. Yeah, so it, the actual next match would be Kevin Owens versus Apollo Crews. This is match. Remember, this is match number three. That we, we you know three. This is three right now. So that match was a good match in itself. That was a pretty good match. It was you know they. Went back and forth. It was a, a main uh, stunning attempt. I uh, think Apollo Crews even went for an angle slam. Um, but Apollo Crews, uh, Z would get involved. It distract Kevin Owens. And Apollo Crews would roll up Kevin Owens for the one, two, three. But uh, for his efforts, he got stunned. Uh, but Z would get into the ring and give. Um, Kevin Owens, what they are now calling, because remember, it was called the Samoan Spike when they just when they go like this to your throat, but now they calling it the Nigerian Nail, and he just boom right to Kevin Owens, and Kevin Owens would basically uh, start foaming at the mouth. Um, let's see. Now this is why we got to get through it so fast because now it's more. It just is like so many promos before the final match. So we got the next promo from Alistair Black. I'm happy they use Alistair. He's got a promo, but this is starting. This is a real negative for me at this point because now there's so many promos. So this is a promo for Alistair Black talking about how he everybody's monsters and that he's going to basically cure, uh, be the cure to the monsters. Uh, we get another promo where Apollo Crews celebrating his victory. Then he would get jumped by Big E. Big E will basically jump him. And tell him he's not when they're not done, and he will get 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 him and get his opportunity for the Intercontinental Championship, which then they reveal will be next week. Uh, whew! Uh, then there's a promo with the tag team champions to get an interview about who's going to be next, because the final match of the night will be a tag team match between Otis and Chad versus Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio, and then they will get interrupted by um, the tag team champions. Uh, I'm mean, not the tattoo channel, but the Street Profits. Then you know they're getting they getting back and forth. Street Profits want to be the next one since they had so many opportunities at the Street Profits. They said they should be next. Then they get to I mean, then this will lead to Bailey coming up. Bailey, this will lead to then the Bailey promo. Bailey will cut her promo about Bianca Belair. You know about how she's gonna she's trash talking about how she's not this, how she's not that, how she's gonna beat her at uh at Backlash. And she says, she tells Kelly, you know, you could go and do, you go tell her that. Um, and, you know, then Montez Ford is still there. He got Bianca on the phone telling him that Bailey's trash talking to her. And you know, she's like, okay, I'll be there. And then she, you know, now it's another promo with Bailey. This time, Bianca Belair confronting her, telling her to say what you were saying to my face now. But then Bianca, Bailey bitches up and only tells Bianca that, you know, oh, wait. You know, I just really appreciate you, and then blah blah blah. You know, I'm so glad to be your first opponent because you made history. This, so she basically uplifting her. So they like, you know, this, Bianca tells Kayla, "This is not what I thought this was going to be." And um, she's like, "Well, you know." And then Betty comes back. Uh, you know, this is not this because I know what Betty truly said. Betty comes back and it's basically like, "There's one more thing," and she laughs. She laughs. And then walks away. She did. so I think that was the front, that was the last. No, well, wait a minute. We got more promo stuff. Hold on, I think my camera. Yeah, there we go. Ah. So then we got more promo stuff. So uh, so yeah, then we got we got uh, Bailey. We got uh. We got, uh, uh, what else do we got here? I'm trying to figure out what else. Oh, yeah. We got Paul Heyman. We got Paul Heyman basically, uh, you know, he, he's telling, he's telling, um, Kayla that Roman, you know, they asked her, did Ro will Roman come out and answer, uh, will he come out and answer the challenge, right? Will he answer the challenge of Cesaro's? 
And he said, you know what? He will be out. He will answer the challenge. And we will see him. And uh, we will see him later on tonight, right? And then that, I think that's where it went to Bailey and all them. But, um, but yeah, then we finally get, after all those promos, we finally get to the final match of the night, which was uh, Ray Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio versus Chad, uh, Chad Gable and Otis, which was, a, which was a great tag team match. The match itself was actually, none of the matches was bad tonight. That was a that's a major plus for me. That all the matches was enjoyable. The only thing I had, the only problem I had with this Friday with this SmackDown was this, and this is the first in a long time I had a, a major problem with SmackDown is that it was only four matches. You could have cut had those damn promos and just had a match. There could have been a match with somebody who haven't had a TV time like Carmella. <sighs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, so they were getting to the match. The tag team match is good. You know, they, uh, they went back and forth. Remy still did his thing. Dominic was a, was a breakout star in this match too. Now he's still, it, it, it's obvious that he's still learning. He's still learning the ropes. He's still learning the tricks and trades. But having your father be the legendary Remy still has to be a, a perk. And it shows in this match that he's learning well from Remy Mysterio. Um, the fact that the fact that he's actually a little bit bigger than Rey Mysterio, I would want I want him to be a mi I think he should be a mixture of power and high flying for real. But yeah, it was a great match went back and forth, and um, they would end up getting they would take all this out to get the pin on Chad Gable, and as they walking up the ramp, Cesaro and Daniel Bryan comes out, and and then and now they in, they're in the ring they're waiting for. Roman Reigns to come out. Roman Reigns eventually comes over with Jay and Paul, and they will give their answer. Jay Roman will run down Cesaro saying, you're basically worthless. You're beneath me. You don't deserve uh, um, a universal championship match. So my, uh, chap so my answer will be no. It will always be no. And then he tells, um, he tells uh, Daniel Bryan, though, he said, for you, I would give, I'm giving you one more opportunity at the Universal Championship, but this time, this time, if you you know me and you if we fight one on one, but if this time if you lose, if you lose, you leave SmackDown because I never want to uh, see your face again. I never want to see you around here no more. I don't want to see you on SmackDown anymore. So. It's a, Dan Bryan, you know, Cesaro is telling Dan Bryan he got to take the opportunity. You could do this. You could beat him. So, Dan Bryan basically accepts. He takes the mic and accepts the match against uh, uh, against Jay, uh, I mean, against Roman Reigns. And Roman Reigns basically leaves the ring. He basically, I mean, well, he then he raised up the championship, you know, like this. Then he leaves the ring. And it just ends with them hyping up. So next, so next week now it will be two championship matches. We got we're gonna have the Intercontinental Championship match, and now the you know Universal Championship match with Dan Bryan versus Roman Reigns. And if Dan Bryan lose, he leaves SmackDown. If I were to give SmackDown anything, I would give it seven big ups, just because it it. it this SmackDown could have been a perfect 10 had it just had more matches. I wa I literally watched SmackDown and only ha it had a lot of talking and no and, no and only four matches. And it had at least two, maybe two, two and a half, even two and a half more matches. It would have been a, it would have been a perfect 10 show, but four matches and basically about five or six promos. Like, come on, man! How you gonna have two to three more promos than your matches? You know, it it was stupid. But yeah, that's all I got. If y'all get you hit this button right here, it will take you to all of my wrestle uh, WWE wrestling reviews. You hit this button right here in the uh, lower, and this button right here in this corner. That's for if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe so you be, so you know what that surprise is. Or you hit any one of these videos for more of my amazing content. That's all I got. Chief out. Stick around because I got some gameplay videos for y'all. Peace.